What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We're back in the world of FTB Infinity Evolved Skyblock Expert Mode. Good God, that's a mouthful. Um, I apologize if you guys can hear a really loud chirpy bird in the background. He's very excited that I'm recording and he's going to be on YouTube. So, um, so we're going to be doing a lot of stuff today. Uh, a lot of basic stuff. Uh, first off, we are kind of expanding our smeltery a little bit at a time. You can notice we've already got two blocks up. I do intend to just continuously kind of work this up as time goes on, which means I'm also going to need to keep uh, plenty of cobblestone in this bad mamma jamma up here, keep it rocking and rolling. Uh, we are coming up on another block or another bucket worth of lava so that we can put that in the smelter here shortly. Uh, but we're going to be expanding our tinkers tool today because this tool can be upgraded. It's going to be able to be upgraded pretty much through the life of our system. So we are going to go ahead and expand on this just a bit. So first off, I'm going to put diamond on here. The reason we're going to do that is it's going to give us more durability. Swap that out. I have one more current modifier on here. Some of you guys may be freaking out that we're going to be using this right now. Um, there should be more, uh, plenty of more modifiers that we can do on it in the future. Uh, I'm just trying to kind of get some of the stuff done now as we go. This will basically reduce the amount of repairs that I have to do on it for the moment. And like I said, uh, there is iguana tweaks in here, so it will continue to level up and we'll be able to put more things on it in the future. Uh, one of the main things I'm going to be doing probably from the get go is simply redstone. I think. Um, and eventually once I get into technology, I will stop using this to basically break blocks, uh, period, other than like normal ores and such, which I don't think we're ever going to get with this. Um, we can put a diamond hammer on this tool and that will allow us to basically smash normal stuff like we can with our little chicken stick here. Uh, I don't know why I felt the urge to call that a pig sticker, but I, I did for a moment there. Kind of weird. Um, anyways, you can see that uh, we've already made 3.35%, which is not much, towards our next setup. Um, 3.35, we're now at 3.45. So we're making a tenth of a percent per uh, pull here, which means 10 blocks for 1%, which means about 1,000 blocks, if I'm not mistaken, uh, per setup, I think. Yeah. That sounds about right. So basically 100 blocks per 10% and 1,000 blocks per 100%, uh, give or take. That's definitely going to be a slow process, but it is what it is. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to keep processing this for a little bit while we expand, and we'll pick up in a minute. All right, so we've expanded the smeltery a little bit. It's a, it's a little higher than it was previously. It's not, it's not massive yet, but we're, we're getting there. Uh, we're going to start off with our, our golden cast here that we need to basically do everything else. I'm a little upset that it ate my ingot. I think it's a little messed up. It should not have eaten my ingot. You you are a meanie poo-poo head, sir. Um, all right, so we're going to feed in a bunch of iron ore to this thing. Uh, the reason we're doing iron ore is we're going to try and make an auto compressor. And I'm not sure if that does what I think it does, as I'm not really familiar with X compressium. I'm thinking... Is that it? Okay. I'm thinking that it is going to make a um, something that combines all of these things, and I'm hoping that's what it does. Now, I am I am kind of um, jumping ahead here on the old uh, what do you call it uh, <laughs> technological tree. Is I'm actually making a machine before I actually have power, which now that I think about it, does sound a little stupid, but you know. Hey, it, it's, it's me we're talking about. Now, if we pull, pull up the guide here and we go to getting started and actually I think it's in tech. If we go to tech and magic, I think it is. There we go. Um, they have a variety of different options. Uh, we're not going to do forestry this time, at least not right off the bat. I did that last time and it was, it was, it was poopy. It was really, really poopy. So we're just going to go with a basic, um, a basic generator. So let's, let's look up generator. Um, it looks like to me, probably lava generator is probably going to be my best option. Um, it should be fairly simple, assuming I can even make it. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like it is off the table. So a lava generator is not going to be on the table. That's not going to be an option. Not going to be one I can make, which is sad. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is probably stick with either the furnace generator. Survivalist generator is an option, but I don't really want to mess with that one. Um, if we go with a furnace generator, though, I have to have... 
Oh, God dang it. Yeah, we have to have an assembly table, and that's not going to work for us. Um, potion generator, solar generator, not going to work. It's not available. Pink generator, nope. High temperature furnace generator, not going to work. So heated redstone's not going to work. They've disabled almost all of these. So our option are basically survivalist generator. That literally is our only option. So we're going to start with a survivalist gen, and then we'll kind of skip ahead and maybe play around with some of the other ones. So let me go ahead and get this iron yanked out here, and then we'll pick up there. All right, so we've got a decent amount of iron. I've gone ahead and made one block. I have three iron ingots. I need one more iron ingot. Unfortunately, I mis mistabulated there. There we go. Let's put some of this garbage up real quick. I'm not going to need all of the stuff right at the moment. You know me. If, if, if I'm not having inventory troubles by the first episode or the second episode, then I ain't doing it right. I ain't doing it right. Now, we are going to need a gear uh, set up here. The reason we're going to need a gear is to make any gears in the future. We're going to have to have that stuff. Now, I don't need a gear right this second, but I am going to here in just a moment. In just a moment. All right, so what we are making is, where is it? The auto compressor. So I should have everything on me that is needed. There we go. I can take this little bad boy. Now I am gonna wanna leave it in the rough general area here. So I'm gonna set it up right here next to this. Now this is cool. This is cool. You can see it, it I, I can't tell if it's going from here to here or here to here. Either way, you can notice that it does not have any power here. So we're gonna need to give it some juice. We're gonna need to give it some juice. So let's do that real quick with Survivalist Generator. So I am gonna need some blocks of coal, which I actually believe I have enough for. Yep, we should. Whoops. I love how I have so much stuff here that I don't have to worry about some of that things. It's nice, because I, I and, and I'll, not only that, but I've, I've got crafting tables literally everywhere, and I, I click on the one block that I, I can't, th that I can't craft with. I found that humorous, I found that humorous. All right, uh, we need two furnaces and a piston, so I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need one extra iron block. Well, not block, but iron uh, ingot. Put that there, we're good, boom. There we go, give me that. All right. God dang it, I just lost my train of thought. This is what happens when I'm reading chat. Because I'm, I'm so used to reading chat like normally <laughs> that I, I feel like I have to pay attention to it and then I realize that's not my stream chat so I don't have to read it. It's, it's driving me crazy, it's driving me crazy. Okay, there we go. That should give us enough to make the piston. Um, wow, I've completely lost the generator. There we go, should just make the piston but for some reason i prefer to do it that way to each his own all right so we've got that set up now uh, i do need an iron gear i need two more furnaces and these are full furnaces which are unfortunately going to be compressed cobble that's a lot of compressed cobble so i'm gonna have to take care of that real quick let me get the other pieces and then we'll make that bad mamma jamma all right so now that we've gotten the uh that thing sorted let's ditch this over uh, where's our wooden gear? There she is. Slap that down. This should give us a gear pattern, hopefully. Uh, okay, that's not gonna work, so maybe it needs to be a stone gear. Makes sense to me. Reason I say that is, you know, molten metal on a wooden thing, that doesn't sound very bright to me. I'm hoping this one will work, because if not, then I'm gonna have to figure it out in a totally different way, and that's gonna be very painful. There we go. Unfortunately, it looks like that was not enough gold to get it solidified. Which makes sense, all things con considered. We'll slap another golden block in here real quick. Slap that back in there. Okay, good stuff. All right, so let's verify that we've gotten everything that we need. Okay, so we have the three coal blocks, we have two furnaces, we have two pistons, and we have two redstone. All of that stuff is in there. Uh, I am gonna need a little bit more coal, so let's make sure that we've got that as well. Um, I've got enough that it's probably gonna be sufficient. Now keep in mind, this thing's only gonna produce about 20 RF a pop, which really isn't all that much. I mean, it's better than nothing, obviously, but only slightly, only slightly. Let's put this back in here. Now keep in mind, we're also working on some other projects. Uh, unfortunately, these projects are 
what I like to call time sensitive in the aspect that we have to wait on things to happen. Like right now, you're going to notice it's raining. When it rains, it's the only time we can make clay with two oak barrels open to the sky where they are. Well, I mean, you can have more, but I've only got two going right now. They fill up. I uh, get some clay, and that allows me to start working on our Coke oven, which we're going to need for creosote oil so that we can make treated sticks so we can do just about everything else. Um, to do this, we need uh, 9, 9, 18, uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 Coke oven blocks. 26. It's uh, basically, no, that's not right. 9 times 3, yes, that's right. 9 times 3 is 27, minus 1 is 26. So, yes. So, we need 26 of those. Sorry. There was a much easier way to do it than just count it out in my head. I was visualizing it the first time, trying to think of where it was. All right. So, we do need an iron uh, cast here. So, we're going to dump this out. That should give us... Come on. Boom. Perfect. So, now we can come down here. And where is she? Boom. 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 Done. We now have power. So let's see what happens here. We don't, we don't know exactly how this is going to work. So I'm going to slap this on the back. Uh, you can see it's got zero in it right now. We're going to put charcoal in it because I think charcoal is going to be a little bit easier to get. We open this bad mamma jamma up. Oh, that's concerning. That is very concerning. I do not like the fact that it is not automatically... Okay, now I'm really confused. Because you notice right here we are at zero RF. And apparently so is this. And I don't see it. What the hell? I'm. Where is the power going? The only thing I can assume is that this is a bug. A graphical bug. So this is aluminum powder here. We're going to put this in here and see what happens. Oh, beautiful. That is exactly what I was hoping it would do. Um, so yes, this is basically... Unfortunately, it's not the same as the packager, I think it was, from uh, the chest mod in Agrarian Skies, uh, but it's close. Uh, I am going to have to automatically feed this stuff over to make it do its thing, but I, I don't honestly really mind that. Now, once I've got this set up, now we need, where is it? We are going to need the auto hammer, which I believe is right here. Now, there's there's... Two versions of it, which kind of trips me out. Um, there is the automatic hammer here, which is looking kind of scary, actually, because uh, this one's going to want Invar, this one wants Dark Steel. Both of them are going to require an anvil. Anvil's not too bad to do, but it is going to require a hell of a lot of resources. Um, and the piston's easy. However, there's also the automatic compressed hammer. Now, the problem with this one is it does want steel blocks. So we aren't going to be able to get to this one anytime soon, as far as I'm aware. So the good news, though, is this is going to basically compress everything that we've got. Anything I need squished into stuff, it's going to do it for me. Uh, I just can't automate it quite yet. But it will save me a little bit of time messing with this. Now, my question is, can it turn seared bricks into bricks? Oh, my God. That is cool. Shouldn't have done that, but it's still cool. So the nice thing about this is it's basically going to compress the hell out of everything that we need compressed, which is wonderful. Um, but automating it is going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky because basically I'm going to need loops going here because basically we want uh, we want to break that, feed it into this, sieve it, and then we want the stuff that comes out, basically all of these things right here, to be fed into this, processed, fed into this, processed, fed into this, smelted. And I'm not quite that's, – that's going to be a very complex setup. Now – I could just build more of these to simplify it, which is probably what I will end up doing. But either way, we're going to look at... It, it's going to be a very substantial amount of piping. Uh, it's also very odd that... Oh, consuming 5RF. So basically, eat, just having this thing here, it, it basically eats 5RF. That's unfortunate. I don't really like that. But, you know, it, it is going to save me some clicks. So I'm not going to bitch too much, I guess. Uh, gotta go with gotta go with what you can get. Don't 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 whine about a benefit. 
Um, so now that we've gotten that going, we've gotten some power, we've gotten the gear going, the only thing really left for us to do for the early game is to continue to make uh, the coal coke oven, which uh, I've already got two pieces here. We need uh, 24 more. That'll give us a total of 26. And then we'll be able to build that thing, start working on making sticks, which will allow us to get into hammers, which hopefully will allow us to get into the auto hammer. And then we can start moving into some technology. Anyways, folks, that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.